क्वेश्चन फाइव ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज से अ ट्री इज ब्रोकन एट अ हाइट ऑफ फाइव मीटर्स फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड एंड इट्स टॉप टच इज द ग्राउंड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ ट्वेल्व मीटर्स फ्रॉम द बेस ऑफ द ट्री सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू विजुअलाइज वॉट इज हैपनिंग वॉट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज सेंग वी हैव टू फाइंड द ऑरिजिनल हाइट ऑफ द ट्री ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ अ रफ स्केच दैट विल हेल्प यू विजुअलाइज वॉट दिस स्टेटमेंट रियली मीन्स सो इमेजिन अ ट्री like this i've drawn this rough sketch of a tree we don't know the original height of this tree this is what we have to find and the problem statement tells us that this tree is broken at a height of 5 meters from the ground so let's say at this point here which is 5 meters above the ground this tree is broken so that the remaining part above this point it falls to the ground such that its top touches the ground at a distance of 12 meter from the base so we will have a situation like this so the remaining part has fallen like this uh, such that the top of the tree which is this point here it touches the ground at a distance of 12 meter from the base of the tree so the base of the tree is this and we have this distance here as 12 meters okay and now using this information we have to find the original height of the tree so this part that is still standing this part is 5 meters and this distance is 12 meters from the base of the tree to the top of the tree so what we need to do is we need to find the length of the remaining part of the tree which is this part so that we can add that to 5 meters and that will give us the total original height of the tree so if you observe this second figure the second sketch you can see that a kind of a right triangle is being formed okay and what is that right triangle what are the sides of the right triangle so we have uh the remaining part of the tree okay let me actually highlight it better so we have the remaining part of the tree which is one side of the right triangle we have um uh, the ground which is this part and between the remaining part of the tree and the ground we see that a right angle is being formed and then we have the part that broke off that fell to the ground and that is forming the hypotenuse of the right triangle so we can see that a right triangle is being formed in which the hypotenuse is unknown but the other two sides are known so we have 5 meters and 12 meters as the lengths of the other two sides okay so the length of this part that has fallen off let's call let's denote it by l so l square will be equal to 5 square plus 12 square and this is basically by using the pythagoras theorem so we are applying the pythagoras theorem to this kind of right triangle that we see in the figure so l square is equal to 5 square plus 12 square or 25 plus 144 right 5 square is 25 12 square is 144 and their sum is 169 so l square is equal to 169 and this means that l is equal to root of 169 which is equal to 13 so this part that has fallen off has a length of 13 meters so in the original figure in when the tree was standing the part above this point where the breakage happened uh, this uh, wall this would be 13 meters uh, uh, long 13 meters tall okay so the original height of the tree will be 13 meters plus 5 meters or 18 meters so the original height of the tree will be 5 meters the part that is still standing plus the part that fell off 13 meters or this is equal to 18 meters so the answer in this question is the original height of the tree is 18 meters and this completes question number 5 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers